everyone and welcome back to another dump and go crock pot video today i have four new recipes for you they're all perfect for fall they can just be thrown in your crock pot and forgotten next week i'll be sharing all crock pot desserts so if you're not already make sure you are subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on without further ado let's get into our first meal I'm gonna call this one a sweet apple pork loin. I'm still working on getting my blog up, but for the meantime, you can screenshot the recipe here. You'll just need one pork loin. I cut hours in half as a whole would be too much for us. One green apple, one small to medium sweet potato. I only use half of this one. Half of a sweet onion, a handful of baby carrots, and some apple juice. I'm starting by putting my pork loin into the crock pot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my apple. I'm gonna leave the peeling on. You can peel yours, either way is fine. You guys will also see that I did get a new crock pot. The other one was extremely old. It was actually passed down from my grandmother. And I really wanted something with a timer that I didn't have to babysit as closely. On the other one, you had to manually turn it on and off, so you had to be paying attention to your times. I really like this one because it automatically switches to the warm setting for you once it's finished cooking. So, yay for a new crock pot. <laughs> and then also, I'm going to cut up half of my onion. I'm also going to peel half of my sweet potato and get that cut up. I'm doing medium sized pieces. If you're using a whole pork loin, then go ahead and use a whole onion and sweet potato. This pork loin was four pound and we just cut it in half and stuck one half in the freezer for later. So all I'm using for this recipe is two pounds of pork loin. And then you just want to pour everything in, add a little apple juice, maybe a cup to a cup and a half, and that's it. You just want to put the lid on and cook on low for six to eight hours. We ate hours over homemade biscuits, open face, and it was really delicious. The pork came out tender and it had a good mixture of all the flavors that we put in. This next recipe is a honey garlic chicken and veggies also would be really good as a sheet pan dinner for the oven I'm gonna link the original recipe for this down below however I did alter it to our liking which you can screenshot here but like I said the original recipe will be in my description box you're just gonna need a pack of bone-in skin on chicken thighs and there are four in this pack I'm showing asparagus here but do not use asparagus use fresh green beans like the original recipe says the dish turned out okay, but the asparagus does get bitter in the crock pot, so I don't recommend using asparagus. We were still able to eat it, but it would have been perfect if I had just used the green beans. You're also going to need some baby carrots. I didn't measure. I just threw in a few. Also some baby red potatoes. Same with those, just however much you want to use. A teaspoon of garlic, a pinch or two of black pepper, a half a cup of soy sauce, a half a cup of honey and I'm gonna throw in a teaspoon or two of this roasted garlic and herb seasoning I'm placing my chicken in the crock pot first I'm then gonna pour in my potatoes and carrots And then I'm gonna cut the ends off of my asparagus and I'm gonna put those on top. I want so badly to stop myself watching this back as I'm editing. Do not use asparagus, guys. Take my word and use the green beans. In a separate bowl, I'm gonna mix the soy sauce and honey mixture along with my other seasonings and just mix it well. And we're gonna pour that over the top. And 
and then I'm gonna cook on low for six to eight hours or you can do high three to four when it was done we served it with yellow rice and like I said this was a really good dish it just would have been perfect to use green beans instead of asparagus Our next recipe is vegetable soup. This is always a hit, and to be honest, you can put whatever you want in this soup. You can't go wrong. Vegetable soup reminds me of Halloween every year at my grandma's house. As kids, we would all meet up at her house dressed in our costumes, and then we would go trick-or-treating around the neighborhood, and this was something she had every year simmering on the stove. So every time I make vegetable soup, I think of her, but honestly, she made the best. So all you're gonna need is a carton of vegetable broth. You can use beef broth if you prefer, a can of lima beans, a can of green beans, one can of carrots, a can of corn, one can diced tomatoes, and also one pound of ground beef cooked and drained. All we're gonna do for this is we're gonna throw everything in, no rhyme or reason, add a little salt and pepper. We're gonna give it a stir and then cook on low for six to eight hours or high for three to four. I like to cook mine low and slow so all those flavors can come together. You can also add white potatoes and onions to this, but pregnancy brain got the best of me this day and I forgot to put those in. But that's the forgiving part about vegetable soup. You can alter it however you like and it's not a big deal if you forget something. And then when it was done, we just served it with garlic bread and that was it. It was so, so good. Our very last recipe is another family favorite and that's shrimp creole. All you need is a 12 ounce bag of shrimp, a 46 ounce can of tomato juice, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and also one pound of cooked bacon. We threw in a little celery and onion to cook with the bacon, but that part is completely optional. Also, don't cook your bacon crispy. We cooked ours about halfway through as it's not gonna stay crispy when you pour it into the crock pot anyway to cook with everything else. So once it was cooked but not crispy, I just poured it into my crock pot, grease and all. We like that extra flavor and there wasn't that much anyway. You can drain yours if you want. And then we're gonna pour in our tomato juice and garlic and we're gonna cook on high for two hours. You can cook it on low and just double the time to four hours if needed. And then about the last 30 minutes to an hour, we're gonna pour the shrimp in. We always have ours over rice, but you can eat it as is as well. Like I said earlier, next week will be all crock pot desserts. So make sure you're subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.